So I've got 100 kilograms suspended off the ground over an edge roller. I've got an ASAP on here. It's it's in it's not in lock mode. It's an ASAP lock, and I've got an Italian hitch, and I'm holding that 100 kilograms supported with my with my one brake hand. The question is, how much rope will run through here before the ASAP catches if I let go of this? So here we go. Three, two, one. And we can't see it, but the pen mark. I'll just pan the camera around a little bit if I can. Pen mark is just here. So measuring that, we have a distance of say 550 millimeters. So same thing this time lowering, but what if I've got a super munter and then I've got an ASAP on the load line and then I was to let go of the brake rope. So in three, two, one, 820. 820 from the anchor, and I'll just spin the camera around. You can see that that's out here where my thumb is. So we're doing our lower, and worst case, we've accidentally dropped both brake strands, and the ASAP has caught one of them. So with this other rope, first of all, I'm going to take that as tight as I can, get as much through that as I possibly can, and get that tied off. And I'm going to go for a super to tie off. Round once and twice. Now if I've got that tight enough, I should just be able to do a vector pull on this strand. And that should then allow me to unlock the ASAP. There we go, so that's unlocked. I've got control of that one and this one now. The ASAP is free. And now I'm going to unlock my super munter and then I can go back to lowering on both strands and as I said before if I want I can walk forwards to the edge and watch my partner as I lower them to the ground and all the time as I'm doing that I've got two brake hands on and the ace up in place in the event of if I do let go and I get about half a meter of travel through but it catches the load.